Hi, it's Peter with the Education Department at Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, here for you with another edition of Zoo from Home, part of our educational series of e-learning you can find at omahazoo.com. Today, we're talking about gorillas. Gorillas are an incredible animal that is an endangered species because they've lost so much of their habitat, the places where they live, and because they've even been killed by illegal poaching activities. What I have for you is something that I found filled with food for gorillas. But unfortunately, some things got mixed up in the gorilla food that the gorillas wouldn't want to eat. I'm hoping you can help me sort out what gorillas will want to eat and what gorillas won't. So if I pull something out of this lunchbox that you think a gorilla would want to eat, I want you to rub your belly. But if you think a gorilla would not want to eat it, I want you to put your hand in front of your face to say, not going to eat that. All right, here is the first item in the lunchbox. What do you think? Would a gorilla want to eat a piece of lettuce? Yes, young gorillas love eating leaves and fruits and vegetables. How about a hamburger? No, gorillas don't eat hamburgers. This has meat in it and gorillas are almost completely herbivore. What about fish? No, gorillas don't eat fish. How about this? Looks like just a regular old leaf off of a tree. You think a gorilla would eat that? Yeah, absolutely. You can't digest foods like this, but gorillas can digest just the regular leaves from a tree. How about some fruit? Yeah, absolutely. Gorillas definitely want to eat fruit. What about this thing? Well, this is actually part of our gorilla diet at the zoo, and this is one of their favorite foods at the zoo. It's high nutrition, and for a gorilla, it's really tasty. Ooh, this is probably from our snake diet. Do you think the gorilla wants to eat this too? No way, gorillas don't eat mice. How about a bug? Do you think a gorilla would eat a bug? Gorillas do eat bugs just a little bit. That's not one of their favorite foods. They don't eat a lot, but they have been shown to eat some bug diet. So just a tiny bit. Let's see, what about some more fruit? Mm, tasty for gorillas. And some more leaves. Mm, tasty for gorillas. And what about a pancake? No, gorillas do not eat pancakes. Gorillas are a really incredible animal. And like people, they have opposable thumbs. But their thumbs are not as big and usable as people. We're gonna go outside and have a gorilla triathlon where we attempt to see what life would be like if we did not have opposable thumbs. We're live from the backyard studio to have our gorilla race. I thought, what would it be like if we didn't have opposable thumbs at all? There are three parts to this race, and Penelope and I are gonna do the advanced version, and we've got a little bit simpler version for Yelena. The first step is we are going to peel an orange without using our thumbs. Yelena oh. is gonna write her name without using her thumbs. The next step is we are all going to do a knuckle walk race all the way back to that fence and then all the way back here and then the final step is we are going to attempt to tie our shoes without using our thumbs and Yelena has a shoe with a buckle all right Get it. are it's all the gorillas ready yes all right yes. on remember no thumbs at all on your marks you're starting with the writing your name get set Gorilla. I Keep on, now you knuckle walk, knuckle walk all the way to the fence and, and back. Oh, she's got a huge head start and I'm not even done my orange. 
Oh, Penelope's still not done with her orange either. All right, I got mine. No! I'm catching up, Elena. You still have to buckle your shoe. One, two, buckle your shoe. I win. No! Oh! Hey, my hands are dirty. <laughs> my hands are dirty too. Are your hands uh, dirty? Ah. Uh, That's why we brought you. napkins. Yeah. Thank you. <gasps> that was a lot of fun. You can find a way to make a race work with your own family, maybe even make a tournament out of it. Thanks so much everyone for tuning in today. Be sure to go online and download these activities for lots more fun things you can do at home with your family at omahazoo.com and use the hashtag, this is how we zoo or zoo from home. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone.